Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create index pages for your digital planners. As you see here, every field is clickable here and if I for example now click on medical history here, it should redirect to that page. So I'll show you how you can create something similar and also how you can make the labels clickable to redirect to that according page. So let's get started. Here I have a 2024 digital planner but this planner has no index page yet. You can either create the index page from scratch or you can also apply a pre-made template. If you do want to apply a pre-made template, you can go to template here, starter, and then under um, starter digital planner, you should see many different kinds of index pages which you can apply. So you can click for example on skeleton and it should apply you the basics into the template like you see here. Um, let's click on undo and now I'll show you how we can create them from scratch. The easiest way to create index pages is to go to layout and then click the right side and then in here you want to apply a simple, um, a simple layout, for example, something like this. It also depends on what exactly you want to add to your index page, but you can also apply something similar like this one here and then for the widgets you can apply the multiple box widget like this one here. Um, for this widget here you can select how many boxes and rows you want to have. So you can for example create something similar like this. This one has 12 boxes in total and this one could be used to create an index for your months. You can also drag it down here below, swap it like this. Then to write within the small boxes, deactivate edit layout. And now when you click within the field, this text menu should show up. And here you can type in uh, January, February and so on. So you would write in here January, February, March and so on till December. And then up here you can for example add in a new multiple box widget and here you can for example also set them um, to just have simple rows like this and then maybe if you have a section called password you can write it in here another one might be for example to to do list like this and so on so this is how you would create your index and then in order to make them clickable you go to stickers and then widget and you would need to add a sticker on top of these fields. Now these ones here, this is a text sticker which is draggable like this and then you can also change the text within this field and every stickers we have are clickable. So you can, for example, also remove the text entirely here, completely remove it and then drag it on top of where, for example, password is and resize the field you want to make clickable like this. And now up here, there is a menu called link to page. If your screen is smaller and the menu is cut off, let's say your screen is just this big, um, you might need to scroll up here just like this in order to see the menu link to pages. So look for this menu here and then you can open it up and you can select to which page you want to link this password page. Now I don't have a password page in this planner but I can show you an example with January. So let me drag this one down here below and resize it to just cover the field for January. And then here I can select to link it to January. And then I can copy and paste this label here, drag it to February and then now link it to February here. And then I can also, for example, add a new one or just copy paste the other one, remove the text and then this one, make it link to March and so on. Now instead of using these boxes here, you can also use other kinds of widgets. So let me click on edit layout and now I'm going to add an additional box here and I'll show you how we can do something similar with the to-do list or maybe with the notes widget, maybe this one right here. So for example, if you have a, 
a section in your digital planner called months like this and then um, you want to list your months in here you can also do it this way so write in January February March and so on and then just like before once you have it done you would go back to sticker and insert a text sticker like this and then you would just place it make it just as big as the field you want to have clickable then remove it and then up here link it to January then repeat the step drag it to February resize it like this remove the text and then link it to February okay uh, maybe let me add a widget down here below another widget could for example be the the lined widget but if you want you can also um, remove all rows so you have an empty space like this then you can click within it then you can for example I'll just take January till December as an example here Jan Feb let me um, zoom in here so you can see better April May June July and so on all down till December you can place it in the middle and align it up here or just like this as you like you can add some more space within it like this if you want you can add some additional spacing like this so these are this is just an example of what you could do on your end and then um, you could go back to the sticker menu and then drag again the sticker on top here or just make it just as big as the January label here drag it on top and then again link it um, to the page you want it to be linked then besides this you can also go to styling and when you select a new styling here it will also further customize the styling of the widget and if you want to change the colors then you can do this under color menu here the outline and here is where you could also change the color of the widgets but as mentioned we have pre-made templates you can use as starter templates um, so here under digital planner just go here and look for something you like and then you can click on skeleton to apply it and then from here you can also further customize it so you can go back to edit layout if you have additional sections you want to add to this one you can click here and add a box below it add in a section and here you can for example go back usually it's the multiple box widget used for these kinds of index pages so you can add the multiple box and then select how many boxes um, rows and sections you want just like this and then uh, type within the boxes type in what pages you have just like this and then again go to sticker drag them down here below and then just make them as big as you want the field to be just like this and then link it to any page this is all you need to do for the index page um, to add some additional text up here you can then use the text like this the text widget you can type in index and just place it like this this is how I usually do it for the other side if you want you can give your planner a name for example 2024 planner and also make it bigger and there you go i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions feel free to always message me on instagram or facebook and i will try to respond to your questions as quickly as i can Bye.